What if there was a controller that can control Ableton Live and Macs for Live devices? The MP controller is now able to do exactly that. Let's take a look. Switch tracks or devices in Ableton Live and the controller follows the selected track and selected device ready to be controlled. All the parameters are automatically synced to the selected device so there are no jumps when moving a knob. The same way you can control macros, instruments, any Max4 Live device and third-party VST AU plugins. You can also switch tracks and devices from the controller and Ableton Live follows the controller. We have linked all the devices in Ableton Live so that you can start working immediately. Additionally, you can create your own links, assign image files to each button and save them as presets, which can be opened automatically when you select a device in Ableton. Let's look at the buttons which are configurable and you can make them behave any way you want. Let's dive into these options. Set minimum and maximum values for when pressed or unpressed. Set buttons to behave like selection buttons, as in for example the amp device. So when you press one button, the others become non-pressed. Set a button to return to a specific value on release. Set it to increase or decrease a specific interval on every press. And set it to increase or decrease every X amount of time while kept pressed at a value you can define. And all options, of course, have a round robin option. Last, you can use the MP host at the same time to control your third party plugins. Happy controlling!